Hi friends, welcome back. Today I have kind of a fun video that I am excited for. I'm gonna be sharing 10 items that I wish I bought sooner. I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing them in no particular order. The very first item that I wish I bought sooner, I got this a few years ago and it is my vanity setup. So it's made up of two pieces, the actual mirror and lights and then the desk. The desk is from Ikea, it's the Ikea mom collection. I will put the exact model in the description and then the vanity light is from amazon i don't know if they still sell this exact one i'll try and find it or put some similar ones in the description box as well but this is great because you can adjust the lighting you can dim it or make it brighter the mirror is really big and then it also has an outlet on the side I really love this setup that I have because I use it for getting ready obviously but I also use it as like a filming setup. The lighting works really great for my videos. I also like that the desk portion has this like glass layer over top makes it really easy to clean. And when I was like a teenager this was like my dream get ready makeup setup so I wish I did buy this sooner. Okay, next on my list is my desktop computer. What is the exact model? I'm not sure, but it's the HP Pavilion Pavilion. I don't know how you say that, um, but it's basically just like an all-in-one desktop and it looks really nice, which I know probably for people who are into computers like that wouldn't really matter, but I don't know. I liked the aesthetic of it and it was important to me. But yeah, I didn't buy this desktop until I was going into my third year of university and let me tell you like once I started writing my papers on a desktop instead of like a laptop it honestly it changed my life I think that the whole setup was less than like two thousand dollars I want to say it was like fifteen sixteen hundred which I mean isn't cheap but I do love it and I do wish that I bought it sooner at the time this desktop did truly everything that I needed it to I think that now the only issue that I have with it is that it crashes when I edit videos, which when I was in university, like didn't super matter because I wasn't editing videos consistently. I was only doing it for like certain projects and I could make it work. Now that I'm doing more YouTube stuff, it is something that bothers me. And I think in the future, I would look into getting a computer that has a better processor or whatever it is that you need. Um, graphics card, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, this desktop overall was a great purchase and I wish I bought it probably more towards the beginning of my academic journey. Next up, this is fun. This was a more recent purchase. We probably only got this like maybe like four or five months ago and it is our couch. I was on the hunt for like a nice secondhand gray sectional for probably like two years. I don't even know if I have any pictures or footage, but originally in that like portion of the house, the living room, we had two black leather love seats and it just looked weird, but I did really want to buy a sectional that really elevated the space that was super comfortable and we got a really good deal on it. It was like $800 secondhand and it's in really great condition and we found the same one online and I think it was around like $3,000. The only change I made was putting new covers on some of the throw pillows. It's great, it works great for us. So I wish that we probably like bit the bullet and bought it a little bit sooner. Okay, next up is very random and actually I didn't buy it, my boyfriend did, but it was like this little sound machine off of Amazon. I think it was around $40. Basically we have this dog in the neighborhood that likes to bark really loud, sometimes in the middle of the night, sometimes in the early morning and it wakes us up. So we used to um, just turn a fan on at night and it would kind of drown out the sound. But then I think he read somewhere that like the throat, it can like dry out your system. And I mean, Alberta is obviously already pretty dry. We were both getting the odd nosebleed from how dry the air was. Um, so yeah, we bought the sound machine and I love it. Highly recommend, wish we bought it sooner. Next up is meal prep services. I put this off for a long time, but I really enjoy meal prep services. We like to rotate between HelloFresh, Chef's Plate, Good Food, and then there's also a new one, Fresh Prep, which I think is based in Calgary, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll be fully honest with you, I have multiple emails and um, I like to you know, keep one activated and then deactivate the account and then use another email and then I wait to get a discount coupon for the other email. I just have like a whole system, so we kind of rotate between all those different services, but we only really buy them when we have some sort of discount. But it really is nice to have my meals kind of like planned out. 
Um, it really takes the thinking out of it. I don't have to like be creative or like think about what we're gonna have for dinner because we always have options. So anyways, if you have the extra income and you haven't tried a meal prep service, I would really recommend. And yeah, that is something that I wish we bought sooner. Another random one, something I wish that I spent money on sooner is my composite bonding. I think that that's what it's called. But if you go back and watch my very first video, I had just finished my like Invisalign journey, but basically the shape of this tooth, it was really bothering me because when I was talking, even though um, my teeth were straight, the shape of my tooth was making it look crooked. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with crooked teeth, but I had spent a lot of money and my parents had spent a lot of money on my orthodontics and making my teeth straight. So I wanted them to look straight. It was just something that really bothered me when I was on camera. So I went to my dentist and we did composite bonding on this tooth here and this one here. I feel like it completely changed the way my smile looks. If you're in Calgary and you wanna get composite bonding or even if you don't, if you're just looking for a new dentist or maybe you're not even looking for a new dentist, but I would really recommend Dr. Mackenzie Naylor at Confluence Dental. They are the best. I could honestly probably talk about it for a full hour, but um, I won't. But yeah, I love what she did with the bonding. I hope it's actually called composite bonding. Is there a difference between composite bonding and bonding, I don't know. But um, some sort of bonding is what they did to my teeth and I love the way that it looks. Number seven is riding lessons. I talked about this in my um, horse lease video where I like break down the cost of leasing a horse. I'm not leasing anymore, I'm just doing like um, weekly or bi-weekly lessons, like depending on my schedule. But it's really fun for me. Um, it's something that I wanted to do when I was a kid that I didn't really get like the opportunity to do because obviously riding lessons are very expensive, but I kind of have the extra income now and I'm able to pay for stuff like that. So it's something that I really enjoy and I'm going to keep doing. Next is my AirPods. Um, for a while, my boyfriend and I were both working from home. Um, and when you both have like meetings and stuff, it can be a little bit annoying. AirPods were definitely life-changing when I was doing my first internship because I was always in meetings. I don't even really use them at work anymore, but I use them at the gym. I use them in the office. Basically, I just use them a lot and I wish I bought them sooner. I also tried a lot of different earbuds, but nothing compared to the AirPods and I'm not even like an Apple girly anymore but the samsung ones just really didn't work for me i would definitely recommend the airpods next is my camera i film all of my videos on the fujifilm xs10 and what lens is this the 18 to 55 millimeter lens which is like the kit lens that it comes with i wouldn't say that this camera is cheap but i think it really elevates my videos i think everything looks a lot higher quality sometimes i wish that the quality was a little less like when i'm filming with less makeup on and i can literally see every single pore on my face. I don't love it, but um, overall, I think that this camera was a really great purchase and something that I wish I bought sooner. And then last but not least on my list is my blow dry brush. I don't know what the exact model is called, but it's by Amika. And full disclosure, I actually got this as a birthday gift from my best friend who is a hairstylist, but I'm somebody who has naturally quite coarse and wavy hair um, and pretty frizzy. So once a week, I like to wash and then I do like a rough blow dry with just my regular blow dryer and then I go over it with my blow dry brush and it really just smooths everything out makes it nice and shiny and like a nice um base a nice canvas to curl my hair with my curling iron I have my full routine down but um the Amika blow dry brush definitely plays a very important role in my hair care routine. That's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If there's any purchases that you've made that you wish you bought sooner, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comment section. And other than that, I will talk to you next week.